This is a two-pack of mini hydrometers. I received these from the Amazon Vine Voice review program to review for free. However, I have not been paid for my review, and my opinions are my own. So you get two little cardboard boxes with these hydrometers in them, and they each come with a sticky dot, a tiny little instruction sheet, and a little snap-on stand um, that will you know snap in here. It also has a battery compartment and two buttons on the back. There's the on-off button and centigrade Fahrenheit button. So hit this guy. So there's the on-off button, and it has a little plastic protective cover, which appears to be almost trapped underneath the edge of the plastic here, but I'm able to get the whole thing off there. All right, and so right now it's 22.6 centigrade and 56 relative humidity. Um, we'll hit the CF button, so that's 72 Fahrenheit and 56 relative humidity. It just turned on, so this might be moving around a little bit as it goes through. Um, let's see, so my other thermometer here, which may or may not be more accurate, um, is 75 Fahrenheit and 68 relative humidity. So out of the box, it's within two degrees on the temperature. And this relative humidity I see going up. So it might be that after I took it out of the bag in the box, it's starting to normalize. So I'm going to leave this here for 10 minutes, let these two normalize sitting next to each other, and then take a look at the reading. So in addition to the temperature and humidity numbers, it has a little face. And so there's normal comfort, there's comfort when the temperature and humidity are good, and then there's uncomfort if you're outside of these comfortable ranges. You can see the faces right there. So it just has a groove in the back, and this stand is just press fit. So you kind of stick it in the groove, and then it'll stand upright. On the back, they have a little battery compartment that you can just use a quarter to unscrew. Inside, it's a lithium coin cell. It's a CR2032 battery. Um, so, you know, you can find these batteries pretty easy to replace them. And it's just a, you know, a barely an eighth of a turn to turn it and screw it back in. Now, while it's been sitting in my hand here, um, it's warmed up significantly and the relative humidity has gone up, but we'll let that go on the table and see if it goes back down. All right, we're at 74.6 and 73.6 here. This guy's at 67 and this is 54. I'm not sure I trust this relative humidity, so I'm gonna show you some of my other devices around the house. So this guy says it's 73 with 62% humidity. This guy says it's 72 with 61% humidity. So right now, that is high and this is low. I think the 73.6 versus 74.4 is kind of close, you know, depending on where in the house they are. What I'm going to do is put these guys all in a bag, and I'm going to be putting in the bag some discant packets, which will draw any humidity in the air out of the bag. So just a big old handful of those to make sure we have plenty. And we're going to let that sit there for a day, and then we'll take a look at the humidity inside the bag and what these guys all say. Okay, all these guys have been overnight in this bag with discant gel. The gel's pulled out a lot of the um, humidity from the air in the bag. And you can see, you know, we're at 20% uh, relative humidity, 20% relative humidity, 73.2, 73.4, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, 22% relative humidity. Um, so this guy has some hysteresis. It takes several hours for its... Um, relative humidity sensor to get to the, the right number. I think it's averaging over time. Um, but all of these guys are, you know, right at that 20, 21, 22 percent relative humidity mark. Um, so they're not perfect, but I'd say they're probably within at least 5 percent on the relative humidity. Um, you know, and the temperature is probably good to a degree or so. All right, this guy's down to 19 percent relative humidity. These guys here, after they go below 20, they just go LL. Like, you know, below 20, you know, it's just low for the humidity. All right, these guys have been sitting here for a little while acclimating. Um, and you can see here we're 75 degrees, 64 percent relative humidity, 75.7 and 65, 75.2 and 63, 75 degrees and 64. So 
These guys here do a reasonable job. They're, you know, within a degree, within a couple of percents on the relative humidity. So if you need a small and inexpensive temperature and relative humidity monitor, um, especially if it, you want a small one you can put inside of a bag, for example, to monitor um, filament for 3D printing in a dry bag or something like that, um, these guys seem to work pretty well.